Hi, this is Hazel with Keyhole Conversations, and we're here today with a new series on um, authors and their favorite scenes from some of their stories. Actually, I'm going to be reading um, a story called from Lady in the Dark by B.J. Myrick, my co-partner in crime and Keyhole Conversations. Um, in this particular story uh, from our book, Dark Side of the Rainbow, a uh, giant mutant spider has attacked Jenny Marsh. And uh, she was caught in his web for some time and has been rescued. She's been in the hospital for three days and is finally regaining consciousness. Um, the thing to know about this story is that it's not just about giant spiders. It's about sisters from hell, too. So, see what you think. At mid-morning, three days later, Jenny Marsh shoved up through the darkness and forced her eyes open. Strange sounds rumbled in her head, snapping footsteps on tiled floors, murmuring voices, something clanking and squeaking. Where was she? Her head throbbed, and she longed to drift into the darkness again, where there was no pain, where she was safe. From what? She couldn't remember. Images flickered through her consciousness, and sounds she tried to push away. The shriek of a terrified cat as she ran barefoot through the darkness to save it. Then the thrumming, and the mutant attack from the shadows. Panic surged within her, and she jerked upright, fully awake. Her breath came in quick gasps, and her heart thudded against her ribcage. A figure pushed up from a chair in the corner and rushed to her side. Jenny, my God, I thought you'd never come out of it. My poor, dear, stubborn little sister, I tried to warn you about that empty lot, but would you listen? Oh, no. Was that Darlene? Lie down now, Darlene ordered. She pressed Jenny's shoulders back onto the bed. You've had quite a scare. We all did. Where am I? Jenny whispered. She looked around the room filled with medical paraphernalia and pulled the cool white sheets higher, hugging them between her fists in the chilly, air-conditioned room that smelled of floor wax and antiseptic, noticing for the first time the fluid-filled bags with tubes attached to her wrist. You're in Stapleton Regional Hospital, Darlene answered. She pushed the call button for the nurse. I'm supposed to let them know you're awake. How did I get here? Why am I here? You were rescued from a cellar in that empty lot, remember? You're famous now and lucky to be alive. The story is all over the news channels. A huge spider planned to have you for lunch. The memory sent an icy chill racing along Jenny's spine. She wondered how the nurse had ever managed to clean off the sticky residue left from the web strands. Darlene laughed, adding, Book publishers will be lined up to print all the gory details of your horrid experience, and your book will be on the top of the bestseller list, and Hollywood will probably make a movie out of it. That You'll be rich. Her voice rose with excitement. Think of all the parties and the book signings and the interviews and rubbing elbows with all the celebrities. Oh, and shopping. Oh, my, we're going to have fun. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed our reading today, and um, it'd be interesting to know what you think might be worse, attacked by a giant mutant spider or having a sister like Darlene. Um, you may notice that there's been a change in location, lighting, and picture quality. That's because uh, there were some technical difficulties. And I forgot to say, that's it for Keyhole Conversations. We hope you'll be back next week.